This is Amigo JP, and today we are playing Quest Buff Paladin with the last Kaleidosaur and a lot, a lot of buffs. So what do we have to do? We have to play the quest, we have to buff our minions to be big and strong, and then after we shall summon the last Kaleidosaur Galvadon into 5 Adapt and give him a super boost and OTKing our opponent. Can we manage to summon Galvadon at least once? Let's see. Well, at least it, it wasn't Huffer. So I think I'm gonna go with Aldor Peacekeeper into silencing that minion and getting the value of drawing more cards because we need a lot of buffs. So what is this deck about? So you have a lot of value if you are buffing your cards. The only weakness of this deck is when your opponent is always trading and not go uh, face. So if you don't have minions on the board, then you are losing value in buffing your minions so you can get Galvadon as fast as possible. You're asking yourself, Amigo, do I always keep my quest in hand? Well, no. Sometimes if you're facing, let's say, Pirate Warrior, Token Shaman or anything that is aggro, you should trade it for another spell, cause you have a lot of buffs, so you can summon Galvadon anytime. Oh my god, I've just summoned Doomsayer from my Silver Moon portal. Well, at least I'm getting some value into getting the board clear and summoning something else next turn. So yeah, Silver Moon portal can be very good if you want a random Doomsayer out of your deck. And this Doomsayer came out, but we don't have the advantage, so the, this Doomsayer gives us a lot of value, because he cannot summon big beasts, and we can prepare the board for more buffs. And we also have the best card for anti-aggro for Paladins, Wicker Flame, Flame Bristle. He's the only card that can save you from uh, aggro decks. Because you can buff him with Spike Ridge Steed, Silver Moon, Portal or any other buffs that can give him health or attack so you can get a lot, a lot of heals. So we're just gonna go with giving him more heal because I want to keep him on the board and I think I'm gonna be greedy and summon my Mean Street Marshal on the board because next turn we can go with Spike Ridge Steed or Silver Moon Portal. But you are asking yourself, but if I trade my quest for another card first turn, won't I, uh, will I don't have enough spells to summon Galvadon? Well, my friend, there is one card that hasn't seen play at all, or maybe a little bit in this expansion. It's Primal Fin Champion. Yes, that card can give your buffs back if you have, let's say, four buffs, but you need six for your quest. Give those buffs to Primal Fin Champion and he, when he dies, will give those uh, buffs back. And for Le Pris Le Resistance, you have Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil, that gives you potassium in two bananas, that gives you 1-1 one, one to your minions. So two extra buffs in your deck. So this deck is very good, but you win most of the time without summoning Galvadon. But sometimes you can summon Galvadon if the matches tend to go a long way after turn 10. So my friend just summoned the mighty Savannah High Main into Unleash the Hounds. Okay, Stampede. Okay, this card I have, I have never seen. Okay, Crackling Razor Maw. No poison. Okay, Living Spores. Uh, Jeweled Macaw. He got... Uh, Two cards from Stampede, that's reasonable, one mana, draw two cards, and we're healing up, we're healing more, but we are also at our cap. So what can we do here? Hmm, I could go for Pyromancer Equality, but that's not very good. I could break Savannah High Main into something else. 
but I will go with Mukla Tyrant of the Veil vale, maybe into buffing up my Grand Street Marshal into drawing a card and I could get more value next turn for Equality or Pyromancer. So let's just give our Marshal some bananas and we're gonna kill that nasty nasty Savannah High main. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go and kill one uh, uh, Tutu Hyena. Okay, still healing up even though I'm at my cap. And we still have the Spike Reach Teed attached to our Frame Bristle. So that's very good. So he cannot uh, deal damage to our face. So what can he do here now? Okay, uh, Tons of Rhino is gonna be very bad if he gets uh, a good, good beast on the board. Maybe he has, or maybe he has gotten from his Tempede uh, the Snail. If he got the Snail, that's bad. So let's see, what does our opponent summon? Okay, Scavenging Hyena. Well, that's gonna be a little bit problematic. Okay, so we still have our Taunt. He's not gonna go face yet. But he has to trade almost everything onto my uh, Taunt minion. So, hmm. Okay, he's trading that. Is he summoning something else? Stone Tusk Boar, okay, so that's gonna be a problem because Savannah, uh, the Scavenging Hyena, pardon, will grow even bigger. Oh my god, he, he almost reached the max. Okay, now it's 10-6 uh, and he's gonna go uh, and trade for my Mukla. Okay, so here, this is a very good turn. Uh, Pyromancer into Banana, more Potassium into True Silver Champion, killing that nasty, nasty Thunder Rhino. And we have a 4-2 on the board. If he summons something small, we can use Silver Moon Portal and our Hydrologists into just clearing out the board. And we still have our weapon equipped, so if he's uh, summoning something else, okay, another Thunder Rhino, into Rival Crocodile created by Stampede. Okay, so my uh, Wild Pyromancer is dead, and Stone Tusk Boar just got more value because of charge. Interesting. So, what can we do here? We can go with uh, Ivory Knight so we can heal up more. Or, hmm, I definitely have to kill that Thunder Rhino. It's looking kind of bad. Or we can go for Tyrion, but I think I'm gonna go with Ivory Knight. Dino Size, Avenging Wrath, A Light in the Darkness. I think I'm gonna go with Dino Size. It's just a good card here. And we are healing for 8, so that's a plus. Burn. And now we are going to Equality. Wait, I should have Equalityed first. Oh man, oh well, th Burn. this is a misplay for me. Oh, okay. Well, that was the first misplay of this game. Well, sorry about that. I should have thinked more. Because I was thinking about summoning Tyrion, but um, I want to play Hydrologists because I can get Getaway Kodo or uh, Redemption. So my Tyrion can live again. So, yeah, and I wanted equality maybe for something more bigger than what he had. So, that was a misplay on my part, but I hope I won't be too punished. Please don't punish me. I was a good boy. I was a very good boy. Please don't punish. Please don't punish. Uh, okay, a Galaka Crawler. Okay, that's very typical for a hunter. Are you going face? Are you seriously going face? Okay, it's your, it's your decision, not mine. So what can we do here? Hmm. I think we can uh, kill the Galaka Crawler. We're just gonna summon our Pyromancer. Silver Moon Portal. He's no Doomsayer. Perfect, a 2 free. Nice, and we're just gonna summon our Hy Hydrologist. Hmm. Noble Sacrifice. Okay, another Hydrologist. Redemption. Perfect. So now we have a combo with Tyrion. And we have a good board. King Crush. So he plays King Crush. Okay, so he's gonna go okay face. 
Okay, so now we can kill King Crush, first Tyrion, into Noble Sacrifice, damaging our... Uh, damaging the King Crush, and just go face. Perfect. So, tanks. Okay, this is... Look oh, Flare, okay. But it's just a Noble Sacrifice. The value of this card was Redemption. So this card... We have been a little bit lucky for not playing Redemption on the last turn. So now, here is our reward. So what can we do here? First, Blessing of Wisdom onto our Tyrion. Go face with Tyrion, drawing a card. Blessing of Kings. Nice, nice, very nice. Dino size our Hydrologist into a big, strong Murloc. And going face again. And going with the other one again face. And end our turn. So, this is a very dominating position we have now. We have a 6-6 six, six on the board, a 10-10 ten, ten, and a 2-1 plus redemption. So, Mr. Hunter, do you think my buffs are good enough for you to concede? Or will you stay so I can get a clean victory this time? But wait, Redemption, Tyrion is back, and he's better than ever. Okay, deadly shot. Aw, oh, he killed Tyrion again. That's not very nice. Okay, that's... Okay, that's reasonable. Steady shot. Okay. I think we could kill with... Um, first, we're just gonna buff. And we're just gonna use Divine Shield on that. We said well played. We're gonna... Finish him honorably with the 10-10. Okay, freezing trap. Now, uh, scratch that. Uh, Ashbringer for the win. GG, my friend. GG. Okay, so now we're gonna go against a warrior. So, as always, if it's a pirate warrior, the quest is in the deck. Don't keep the quest against a warrior, because most of the time those warriors are pirate warriors, as shown in this video. So, patches into Blood Corsair. Good turn for him. But we have a better turn. Okay, so we're just gonna end our turn here because we cannot do anything. I think next turn we can go Coin, Stonehill Defender. We have also Defender of Argus if he plays a weapon into the 2 mana. The girl pirate that gets buffed if you're holding a weapon that gets the attack of the weapon, plus it's a 2-3, so yeah. I don't know her name and I don't want to butcher it. Because even though I hate pirates, it's still a good card to have in other decks. So Stonehill Defender into... I think we're gonna go with Abomination. I know we're, we're going to take 2 do, do damage, but we need all the boar clears we can get. So we can clear the pirate warrior's board. Okay, upgrade. Well, that's scary. Into Blood Sail Raider. Okay, Blood Sail Raider. That's her name. Think it and uh, keep it in your mind. Okay. So, is he gonna trade? No, he's not gonna trade. Okay, so Aldor Peacekeeper. Make that into a 1 free. And killing catches the pirate. And still looks good. We, di we didn't get a lot of face damage yet. We are doing very fine. We only need the perfect card against an aggro deck. That's Wicker Flame, Flame Bristle. That's the only card we need so we can be in top shape. Because we have a buff and we need that card. Can we get it? Okay, Corcon Elite. Corcon Elite. Okay. I said that perfectly. And is he gonna go face? Okay, he's going face. And... More face? Okay, more face. So, what can we do here? Hmm, Blessing of Wisdom. Or we should summon our Acolyte of Pain, maybe? Last maybe. Warning. No, first trade, then Consecrate. And that's better. So now the board is clear for now. He still has a lot of pirates. He has the, the pirate that buffs the weapon if you're if you have a pirate on the board <laughs> south sea deck hand okay blood sail corsair again is he gonna go face nope he's trading 
Well, that's good to see. And he's just gonna armor up. And he's gonna go again face with the weapon. Okay, so now I think we're gonna go with Abomination. Because next turn we can go Acolyte of... No, Acolyte of Pain. No, 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 no. Next turn we can go... Hmm... Uh, Primal Fin Champion, maybe, into Silver Moon Portal. Yes, that looks very good. Oh, Mortal Strike. Okay, one Mortal Strike down. So that's very good. So he has one. He has only one more Mortal, mortal Strike in his deck. And he's still gonna go face. Okay, into Nazoth First Mate. Another weapon equipped. Okay, okay. So, hmm, I want to be greedy. Stonehill Defender. Grim Street Protector. Perfect. Into Acolyte of Pain. Because we need the card draw. Because we need to find a Wicker Flame Flame Bristle. That's the only card we need here right now. We need all the heals we can get. Even Ivory Knight could be useful here. Tyrion. Not so much. Spike Steed. Perfect. Mukla. Mm, probably. So he still has only two cards in his hand, so he still hasn't played big minions like uh, Leroy Jenkins or mm, I forgot what kind of big cards Pirate Warriors have. Mortal Strike he has one. He also has one more Arcanite Reaper in his hand. Oh, he's still gonna go face. Okay. So first, I think we're... Okay, just gonna attack with the Acolyte. Oh, we hit the, we hit the jackpot. Well, Wicker Frame, Frame Bristle into Silver Moon Portal into a 2-2. Perfect. Why, why did I did this? Because next turn, if he attacks with the weapon and he doesn't kill the Wicker Flame, we can go... The uh, the hmm we can go with wait 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 a minute I'm too overexcited here maybe we can go with uh, no pyromancer definitely not mm, Grim Street Marshal mm, maybe okay South Sea Captain that's not very good for him because he doesn't have any pirates on the on the board so now just kill that kill for four. Perfect, perfect. I like this. Into Blessing of Wisdom. And another card. Mukla the Tyrant. Into Grim Street Enforcer. And now we have two minions with Divine Shield. Perfect. And we have two towns. One is with Divine Shield, the perfect one. And we get all those sweet, sweet heals back. So I think this is GG, Mr. Pirate Warrior, sir. But don't worry, buff quest paladin always saves the day. So next turn we can go Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil. Vale, or maybe Grim Street Marshal into Adapt. Or maybe we can go Primal Film Champion into Adapt. Or Mukla and next turn, next turn we can go. Primal Fin Champion into Banana, Banana, and the Death. Oh, Krorkon Elite, okay. Well, Wicker Flame, I'm sorry but you're dead, but you did a good job, my friend. A very good job. You healed us back to full. So, let's see. Ivory Knight, don't need that. Well, let's be greedy. Primal Fin into Adapt. I think we're gonna go with Volcanic Might. Just gonna go face here draw again a card. Hydrologist. It could be useful. Let's see what kind of secrets can we get. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with Getaway Kodo. And end our turn. Because any minion that dies this turn is very good from Getaway Kodo. But the most value minion that could die this turn is Grim Street Enforcer. Because next turn we can summon him back and give more Divine Shields. So, Mr. Warrior, I think this is GG and plus two for the good guys. Okay, armor up. Into... are you gonna go uh, and attack my Grim Street Enforcer? Okay, Bloodsail Cultist. But you don't have a pirate, so no buff for you. 
and okay he's gonna go and attack that because he thought maybe that was noble sacrifice okay do we have lethal let's just spike with steed into more towns just go face and this is GG, well played my friend, but Galvadon, even though we didn't find him yet, still won us the game. GG, well played. well played. Okay, our last match for today is against a mage, so let's see if we can summon Galvadon. Still, the quest is still in my deck, because I'm afraid that this is a uh, secret mage. Oh, Cabal Aki. well, I was right this time, it's secret mage. So let's see what we can do here. We can play Hydro Hydrologist, but I think I'm gonna go with Hero Power because I want to play Hydrologist maybe next turn. Because if, if we get Getaway Kodo, we can summon the Hydrologist again. Or we can use Getaway Kodo for something even bigger. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can go with Stonehill Defender. Maybe that's a good turn. Or Acolyte of Pain. But what kind of secret it is? We're, we're gonna go with Stonehill Defender into Grim Street Protector. Perfect. This card is very good. It gives 2 minions Divine Shield and he is a Taunt with 6-6. Six, six. Okay, Primordial Glyph. Interesting. I hope it's not a secret because uh, he has uh, the... I don't know, 6 mana 5-5. Five, five that uh, costs two less for each secret you play this game that's a very good card in secret mage secret mage has mirror entity but that card is not mirror entity so we're gonna go with hydrologist sadly no getaway kodo but we can go with uh, noble sacrifice and it's counter spell okay so my uh, silver moon portal is saved so it won't be countered, so that's good. I'm late. I'm Into late. wait a cabal crystal runner. So cabal crystal runner. So what can we do here? I think we're gonna go with uh, Aldor Peacekeeper, so we can make that uh, one five and just gonna go face. Hmm. I hope I can get my quest very fast, so we can start buffing up a lot of minions, so we can summon Galvadon, the last Kaleidosaur. Let's see, so Archaeologist, okay, that's interesting, into Kirintor Mage, hmm, so that's a combo, into a zero secret, interesting, so he's just gonna attack my Stonehill Defender, first we're gonna summon our Green Steed Marshal, and of course, that's a Mirror Entity, perfect, we have, he, we have read that perfectly, bravo, so now mm, I want to keep my Silver Moon Portal for the Grim Street Marshal, but we I want to attack and clear the board. So we're just gonna buff our Stonehill Defender, and we got a very good card from that. We got Armor Smith. So we're just gonna adapt the Grim Street Marshal. Sadly, we do, we didn't get the one one or free attack, but spores. It's still a good. And we're just gonna pump up a lot, a lot of armor. So the mage cannot burn us down with... The mage cannot burn us down with uh, fireballs or pyroblasts or, or any other kind of damaging spells that can go face. Because I'm still thinking that he has Alexstrasza or something else. Okay, another secret. He's gonna trade. And we are just getting a lot and a lot of armor. But is that uh, another mirror entity? Or potion of polymorph? Okay, he's gonna coin out something. You wanna cast a spell? Blabbling wanna book. Cast a spell. Okay, another random spell. So what can we do here? First, Strike. we're just gonna trade for the blabbling book. And second, we're gonna play our hydrologist. I think we're gonna go with repentance. Mirror Entity, well, we're just gonna trade that in, summon our Acolyte of Pain, and we're gonna play Repentance now, because it's turn 7, so our friendly mage can play another 
Cabal Crystal Runner, so we can clear that up. Cabal Lackey. Well, nice. Nice for my opponent. He has read my secret very good. Amazing. Amazing. Yep. We're just gonna say the wow emote. That is incredible. Primordial Grip into Meteor. Okay, so he's gonna clear. But first we're gonna get a lot of armor. Perfect. 10 armor. And one spell. Hmm. We need more buffs. Pyromancer. Mm -mm, not very good. First, I think we're gonna go with Blessing of Wisdom. So we can draw another card. Yep, we're gonna do that. Okay, another counter spell. Okay, okay. So both counter spells are gone. I'm just gonna go face and summon our Green Street Protector. Perfect. Now we have the Green Street Marshal with Divine Shield. So if we can get another Zero Moon Portal or Blessing of Kings or Spike Rich Steed, that could help. Okay, Fireball. And okay, ping and kill my Grim Street Marshal. Okay. So that dream is dead. Into two spores. Okay. So I think we're gonna go with Tyrion Forgery. Attack. And play our quest. Even though we don't have a lot of buffs. Wait a minute. We still have one more adapt. We still have a Blessing of Kings. We still have two Primal Fin champions. And we have Mukla and the two spike ridge steeds so we are still good we are still in the game to completing our quest so we can summon the mighty galvadon okay mana warm into okay freezing potion from babbling book well that's gonna stall a little bit primal fin champion we still don't have uh, buffs for that guy so we're just gonna go face and that's it I'm not gonna waste my, war pi my wild pyromancer on this board cause um, exhibit A he can use blizzard, exhibit B he can use meteor, exhibit uh, C he can use flame strike how, how can he use those spells? random spells generated by other minions so this do? is good for us okay firelands portal so he's, he's uh, definitely going to being, oh my god, the best 5 drop, a 6-5, nice, that's very good for the mage, okay we have Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil, I think we're gonna go with the combo here, so we're just gonna trade everything, but first let's summon our mighty Mukla into giving us a potassium with a lot of, lot of love, we're just gonna attack that because we have armor so we can spare that. Primal Fin Champion, I'll give you some bananas. Give you good, good vitamins for your brain and body. Even if he kills my Primal Fin Champion, the bananas will come back. So we can summon again those bananas. Even two more buffs for our quest. So, does he have Flame Strike or did he generate a random spell? That is good. Okay, he pinged. Into flame strike from Primordial Glyph, so it was C me, you are on and fire. Medivh's Valet. Okay, but you don't have a secret. So this turn, Burn. let's see, we're just gonna attack, play one of our Silver Hand recruits, and just play Spike Root Steed. Okay, we need three more secrets, and Galvadon will come on the board. We will summon Galvadon. I think that this is uh, the game that we will finally summon the mighty Galvadon. So, okay, free, uh, free buffs, so we have Galvadon. So we can trade with uh, the Ashbringer and then we can play the Adapt. Okay, Adapt into Flaming Claws or Wind Fury. We're just gonna use Wind Fury. Attack with the Ashbringer, give our Silver Hand Recruit more bananas, more potassium, and we completed our quest. Perfect. Now we can summon Galvadon, guys. Prepare yourselves for the mighty, awesome Galvadon. Okay, first, uh, we're just gonna go with the Flaming Claws. Next, Wind Fury. Okay, then, wait, don't concede. Oh, come on, I wanted to play Galvadon and choose the free adapts. Well, GG, I guess. GG.
As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and a like. And if you want to see more or help the channel grow, you can subscribe to Amigo JP. Until then, don't forget to have fun, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!